Hi, this is Sylvie Ferrero and we're here at Billy Beck III Training Center and today I'm going to show you how to stretch after a hip replacement. Now we've got Stephanie here and um, she's going to show you first how, what not to do. Now this is a really common stretch that people like to do to stretch out their hips normally. Go ahead and cross your leg, Steph. Anything where you're rotating the leg out at the hip is a no-no after hip replacement. Of course, you want to make sure you ask your doctor first and get your, his advice, but this is typically not a, a better option. And even more so, go ahead and, and pull up this sort of thing. A lot of people, you'll see people doing this in a gym trying to stretch out their hips. Great, normally, but not after a surgery. Go ahead and come down. So this might be a little better option for you, Steph. What we're going to do is Steph is going to grab a foam roll and you're going to place it just above the knee, just like that. Perfect. And you're going to lie down. Excellent. And we're going to add the strap, and you're going to put it more towards the ball of your foot. There you go, staff. Awesome. Now this is going to help you stretch a little better, and we'll see that in a second. This foot is going to actually go on the floor, and we're going to start with the heel on the floor, Steph. There you go. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to squeeze the quad. That's the muscle at the top of the thigh. You're going to raise the leg up using the muscles in the thigh. And then very gently, you're going to pull back, first with the toes, and then you're going to add the band for some extra resistance. This is going to stretch the muscles behind the leg and the knee, the hamstrings. You're also going to feel a stretch in the calves. So go ahead and bring it back down, Steph. Very slowly raising it down. Okay, and you're going to inhale and exhale, squeeze the quads first to raise the leg, and then bring the toes back towards the face, and then adding the resistance with the band. Again, we're getting the stretch behind the leg, and that's gonna help stretch out the hamstrings and the calf muscles. And remember guys, if you're not eating properly, you're not getting proper hydration, you are not gonna be able to heal as quickly as possible. So make sure you're getting in your nutrients. All right, guys, this is Sylvie Ferrero. Thanks for watching. And this has been How to Stretch After Hip Replacement.